Hey all, welcome back to the channel. Brendan here, AKA Cliff Jumper. We are trying out a cool little tool today. Maybe you've got a motorcycle or a car or a lawnmower or really any, any device that uses a fairly big battery and a charging system. And you're wondering, is the charging system on this actually working? Is my battery actually good? Well, we've got a cheap, well, I don't say cheap, an inexpensive, affordable, let's go with affordable, an affordable tool that you can use to test your battery. So let's check it out. All right, so yeah, we've got this tool that we're gonna check out, and this is from Ancel, not Incel. So those of you who are like, you know, internet poster types concerned about incels, this is not an incel, it's an Ancel. But this is a battery charger, uh, no, sorry, battery charge tester and a load tester it does a bunch of stuff let's let's dig in because our wonderful amazing Joan Jetta has a battery drain and um, I am going to diagnose the battery drain again she has had a battery drain before and previously it was the comfort convenience module on the car that was giving us issues it might be the same thing all over again but I have not diagnosed it yet, I'm going to. But in the meantime, the battery does definitely have a drain on it, and so that could be making the battery life suffer. Let's measure the battery and see what's going on there with the car off and on. So as you might think, we are going to hook this up to the positive side first and then the negative side, which is conveniently hidden underneath all this stuff, but I can still get to it, maybe. I've got a protective cover down here. All right, we've got it. So this is firing up, and it lets us select a variety of different things. We're gonna look at car. This is not a touch screen, so you select what you want, hit enter. The battery is in the vehicle, we will select that. We're gonna do a battery test and it wants us to turn the lights on for about 10 seconds, then turn the lights off. So we'll go do that. Okay, we've done that. We're gonna hit enter. And it is a regular battery. It wants to know the cold cranking amps. On this one, it is 650. So we're gonna enter that in. Six fifty cold cranking amps. Enter. And look, oh cool, we've got a one hundred percent good battery. That's great. Uh, so even though we've got a drain on it, the battery's still good. That's very helpful to know. I'm very happy to hear that. Let's look at some of the other tests it does. Let's do uh, in vehicle again. Let's do a cranking test. Turn off the engine before pressing enter to enter the test. All right, now it wants me to start the engine. All right, so we've got some results here. It says 1774 milliseconds. We had 13.25 volts cranking, a minimum of 9.4. It says the cranking is low. So that's, um, that's interesting to know. What about a charging test? Let's go to that. Increase RPMs and keep it there for 10 seconds. Uh, I can't do that while I'm pressing this button, so let me do that for a second. All right, we've got 14.05 loaded, 14.45 unloaded, ripple is 20 millivolts, and it's telling us our charging is normal. That is also very happy, happy to know. I like that, okay. 
And what happens if I hit this? Oh, I get a waveform analysis. So it's showing me how consistent my charging is. And that nice straight line tells me it's doing pretty good. So we've got a maximum of 13.9 at idle, minimum of 13.4. Pretty good, I like this. So this has given us lots of good information and telling us that the charging system in the Jetta is good, even though there is a drain on the battery, it has nothing to do with the charging system. So I'm quite happy to learn that. And this is a great little tool for such things. Let me turn off the motor. See how it dropped down after I turn off the motor? Now we've got a minimum of 12.5 and the current is 12.8. So that's just the battery power without everything running. Let's take a look at what this might look like on a battery that's not so good. I've actually had this battery on charger for a little bit, and according to the charger, it's up to 69% charge. So let's, uh, <laughs> let's take it off the charger and measure it with this and see what report we get. And once again, I'm gonna go ahead and connect up the positive first, and then the negative. And this is gonna fire up. Let's go ahead and do a battery test here in the vehicle, battery test. Um, I don't think we really need to bother with the surface charge right now because it's been on a charger. Regular flooded. This one is 540 cold cranking amps. And let's see what it tells us. Uh, yeah, it says replace the battery, 69% charge, which is perfectly, perfectly what the battery charger said it was. When I had it on this, this said it was at 69%. So I will go ahead and say that this little sucker is pretty darn accurate. Okay, cool. That is good to know. We, uh, we're not gonna crank it over, we're not gonna do those tests, but that is really helpful. <laughs> In plain English, you don't have to wonder, is the battery good? It'll test it in just a matter of seconds and let you know if you need to replace it or not. So hopefully that helps you out. I know it helps me, because I am, you know, I've got project vehicles that we're working on. I've got old cars, um, obviously we've got my son's Jetta that is anxiously waiting a transmission. <sighs> we'll be diving into that soon. And then we've got our Fiat that's been sitting for a while and the battery probably needs to be replaced before we start tootling around in that. But there's more work to be done on that. We're still doing the ignition work. I got to replace the points. Joy of joys. And then, then maybe she'll fire to life. We'll see. Just about forgot to mention, uh, I will drop a link in the description to where you can find this thing and probably there'll be a discount code for it for you to buy it as well. So check that out down below. Anyway, I hope this helped you out. If you wouldn't mind hitting like, maybe even subscribing to the channel, I'm a one man show and every like really matters. It costs you nothing and it really helps me. So thank you for that. God bless you. Maybe check out some of my other videos and I will see you next time. God bless, see ya. And on that terrible disappointment, <laughs> It's time to say goodbye, we'll be back. <laughs>